Hi, I'm Ryan Chin with Alight Analytics, and today I'm going to show you how you can use Alight's marketing pipeline dashboard to understand how digital marketing efforts are impacting orders and revenue for your online store. With this dashboard, you can see your entire digital marketing pipeline from marketing costs to impressions and clicks to orders and revenue generated. Calculate a cost per and conversion rates for each stage of the marketing pipeline. Understand which campaigns and channels lead to the most orders for specific products and product categories. See where in the shopping or checkout process buyers are dropping off and if that differs between channels and campaigns. And finally, forecast campaign outcomes based on marketing goals and budgets. This dashboard is powered by media source performance data and web analytics data coming from Google Analytics. Channel Mix automatically aggregates and unifies this data into a one view data set that provides a holistic view of the marketing funnel. Transactions and revenue are measured using Channel Mix e-commerce tracking, which creates events to track shopping and checkout stages and defines products and product categories. This dashboard can also be adapted to measure lead generation, but just for today, we're gonna to focus on the e-commerce version. When you first open the pipeline dashboard, you'll see your pipeline filters at the top accompanied with date selection options. Just underneath that, you'll see your pipeline scorecards. The pipeline will show you your total spend, impressions, interactions, transactions, quantity, and revenue for a given time period. Transactions, quantity, and revenue numbers are based on data from Google Analytics. If you have another system you use to track that information, an upgraded version of the data model and dashboard is available. For a more granular analysis, you have the option to utilize the filters that are above. There's channel type, which allows you to see your pipeline for per paid, own, or, or earned channels. A channel filter to see pipeline performance by the individual channels, which includes both organic and paid sources. A data source, which is where Channel Mix is pulling the data from, and campaign. If you're a Channel Mix keys user, campaign names in this filter can be cleaned up and mapped across your data sources. And that's the power of the one view. You can view things as holistically or as granularly as you like. If you scroll past the metric comparison tool, you can see pipeline metrics for your individual data sources, campaigns, or channels. Let's run through a scenario. Say you want to know which marketing channel is the most efficient at generating online transactions. In the performance metric table, I'm gonna keep my selection to channel and then sort by my ROI. Here, we can quickly see that paid search is giving me my best return on investment. Now, let's dig into that number a little bit further. I'm gonna scroll back to the top of my dashboard and just filter by paid search. Then I'm gonna move over to the product summary tab. Scrolling to the bottom of this tab, I can see that the majority of orders generated from paid search are purchasing products within my product category 145. This is really good information to have as I plan my next campaign. I know that ads on page search promoting product category 145 tends to perform very well for us. Thinking about our next campaign, I'm gonna move over to our forecasting tab. Here, I can enter in my paid search budget and calculate target pipeline metrics, including expected transactions and revenue. So if I plan to invest in $200,000 in paid search on the next month. I can use this, this forecasting tool and know that I should expect about 30,000 transactions, which would be worth $6.3 million in revenue. That's a brief overview of how you can use Channel Mix and the Marketing Pipeline Dashboard to optimize digital marketing efforts to maximize online orders and sales.